patch with kind of tripod. Oh yeah, yeah. Just. Do you work together? We we are um, we're both activists in the same field, but everybody uh, because it's this is uh, such a covert program. It's not wise to be a part of an organization because organizations get taken over and infiltrated. It's so much. It's much better just to act as an individual, in my opinion, because you can you can't infiltrate an individual. <laughs> Definitely, but you won't have the same the same leverage. The same, sorry. Leverage. Leverage, absolutely. The um, my um, actually, let's start over. First, of, right. first, first, first. Uh, first of all, I I would, Your Royal Highness, uh, I'm I was really glad to see you yesterday at the uh, presentation we gave on geoengineering. Thank you. And. Um, First, my first question is: um, Were you aware of geoengineering before yesterday? And what did you think of the presentation? Did you have any thoughts? Yes, I um, I follow up all the scientific, uh, actually, the researchers around the world. Uh huh. And I'm a global researcher yeah. in different venues, and I think every and single thing affects the other. It's like a, you know, um, a domino effect, and it's like. Uh, 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 the papillon, which is uh, butterfly. the butterfly effect. Oh, yeah. So it is rather than uh, just focusing on one thing at a time, I think the globe is, is so vast and so interactive that you have to, to listen and to research uh, about every single thing in, in, in the world. Uh, if you research about environment, you research about security. Yeah. And if you research about security, you research about um, freedom. Mm -hmm. So each one leads to the other. And one of the and one of the subjects that I was following up on Twitter, I'm a tweeter. Mm -hmm. It was um, uh, the geoengineering um, uh, YouTube um, programs that uh, Mr. Michael Murphy. Uh, was presenting through one of my followers and uh, mm -hmm. so she sent it to me to see and check it over that was a year ago oh okay that's why it was very funny to see him here and I thought <laughs> hmm, that's that's a good a good um, uh, coincidence okay and uh, I think it's one of the things that um, like my theory which is the uh, the fourth way law mm -hmm. is new to society hard to believe mm -hmm hard to uh, hope for, uh, very uh, impossible for others uh, to uh, uh, perceive that um, there are things in the world uh, that get um, um, born every day, mm -hmm. you know, new sciences, if I can accept Twitter, I can accept geoscience. Um, so it's all about accepting new things, but I think if there is something going through, you know, um, uh, traditionally uh, up the stairs, people would be able to grasp it rather than just uh, hit them with uh, sciences that they have no knowledge of or they can't comprehend. So it is like Newton, Newton um, um, theory. It's mm -hmm. like so many theories in the world. It took time for people to recognize. Mm -hmm. It took. Um, uh, a lot of researchers, a lot of attention, and then it started uh, uh, taking its 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 uh, platform, growing up in the world. And I think that's that this uh, the same with um, geoengineering. I think I think it's one of the key points of the uh, new power in the world to understand geoengineering and how it can be used as a weapon mass destruction weapon without even uh, exploding a nuclear bomb. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very powerful. Um, you can control water, which is uh, massive. I mean, without water, there's no life. Without water, there's no life. Without uh, proper food, clean food, there's no life. Mm -hmm. It's just actually a way of slow poisoning that it will get you at the end. 
and then the population will just disappear into minimal um, uh, numbers until there is no more um, uh, population of, of billions and it will come back to whatever it was. And I think that that is um, the question here, um, survival and humanity. How do we concern ourselves in maintaining humanity and and, and uh, life on Earth? Mm -hmm. Why are we looking uh, into Mars now? Why are we looking into places to live outside Mother Earth? Though it is so vast and three quarters of it is inhabited. Mm -hmm. And still we are looking for life, how to live outside our own Earth. That's, that's a very, very um, interesting, actually, uh, corner to look at. Mm -hmm. Because if we're intending to stay here and live here, we should be more concerned about life here and the quality of life. Um, geoengineering is, is seen, and you referred to it as a weapon. I mean, this is uh, something that is being deployed against all humanity. Um, how you found you you saw Michael Murphy's film a year ago and you became aware of geoengineering then how many people do you speak to other people about this issue and how 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 aware are people either in your circles or in in Saudi Arabia about this program actually of course scientists are aware uh, uh big universities, uh, which has uh, science departments. We have a nano uh, uh, institution in, in Kaust and King Abdullah University uh, city. Uh, so um, uh, we are very knowledgeable about this. Uh, unforeseen for Saudi Arabia, because most of the people think we have two things. We have uh, uh, terrorism, anti-terrorism, camels, <laughs> and petrol, <laughs> and dates. <laughs> That's around summing up Saudi Arabia in everybody's eyes. Uh -huh. But um, we, do have, we do have sciences, we do have thinkers, we do have a lot of uh, um, uh, modernization, as mm. we call it, uh, an introduction to uh, new sciences in the world. Maybe because we are not as advanced as others, we mm -hmm. do not question a lot the new things mm -hmm. as much as others do. You know, people who tend to be very much grounded in sciences, whenever something happens, they they would put thousands of uh, uh, in, inabilities or incorrect um, uh, sciences uh, into question because they, it does not make sense to the scientist himself. Mm -hmm. Well, I think in our countries, we are more up to, uh, to new theologies and sciences because we are not so much grounded in these things. Mm -hmm. So we're more, more open-minded, let's say. Mm -hmm. So there are some, some of them who um, definitely are, are very much deep into um, geoengineering. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry to interrupt. Go ahead. But geoengineering is always couched as a proposal and it is vehemently denied by everybody in official capacity all over the world to my knowledge that it has actually been deployed. Um, are there any uh, institutions that you're aware of in Saudi Arabia that are talking about the actual deployment of it? As opposed to a no, theory? No, it's, 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 really, it's really something, that, like I said, you know, it's something that we talk about, something that is being studied and seen as, uh, uh, you know... When, as an option. As an option because of uh, what happens in uh, the disasters in, in, in Saudi Arabia when there is a waterfall or a lot of waters or, or floods and things like that. Mm -hmm. So I, th I think it was talked about, and it is talked about, uh, uh, not only in Saudi, in all the area, wherever, wherever you have uh, the mention of floods, you hear something about maybe dispersing um, uh, clouds. Mm -hmm. 
So I think, you know, it's the same way as making clouds. Mm. So if you want to disperse clouds, you can talk about making clouds. So I think there, there's a serious um, uh, maybe study into that area, uh, definitely to um, manage disasters in the future. And, and, and I think, you know, it is, it's quite uh, important to address the problem itself than uh, uh, play with uh, Mother Nature mm -hmm. and the Word of uh, God. And uh, it will happen either and either ways. And I think, you know, the more you resist the powerful pull of instability in Mother Earth, the more uh, Mother Earth will, will um, uh, send us um, uh, disasters so we can uh, know that we're playing with that uh, equilibrium. Mm -hmm. And we can see it everywhere. And I don't think it will ever work. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, 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 biology in itself and, uh, is a very tricky science. One element can disbalance all, a whole creation of a human being. Playing with DNA, mm -hmm. as much as you want to say that you are making it uh, right, right human being. As I heard last week, there was a university in America, uh, uh, in, in a company, uh, that says that it will bring uh, people back from death by freezing uh, through the nano um, uh, technology. It's everywhere, it's in the Times, Independent, so it's not no secret. Mm -hmm. I've read it on the internet. Uh, that it will freeze uh, the DNA uh, and brains of the dead people and bring them back to life in 30 years. I couldn't imagine uh, a corpse, except a zombie, <laughs> coming out again after 30 years. So playing really and I say plain and I'm not saying not not to research to cure diseases mm -hmm. it's completely different but I'm saying plain with DNAs and, and biology and and uh, environment echoes uh, the whole system uh, the whole ecosystem is disastrous mm -hmm. it's like when you want to have an operation mm -hmm. to uh, um, to take out your um, uh, let's say a uh, kidney mm -hmm. and put another better one there though it is a good one but you just want something better I think uh, you will, will be, you'll be betting on the wrong horse you might just have a kidney failure later on because of that operation and you might not come out of this operation mm -hmm. so I think that this is how we should be uh, looking at it is that uh, we will uh, <coughs> always send uh, um, messages of beware of what you're doing. Whoever actually is doing it has uh, huge resources. And that by itself tells you that it is a very high end study and it's a very high end uh, implementation uh, that has affected the globe tremendously. You see the, the, the storms in the States, in places where it never existed, mm -hmm. floods, mm -hmm. <coughs> um, the, uh, the, sky, the sky look completely different than four years ago. Today, I mean, we can look out the window, there's a big trail going right across there. There's, you know, it's, and here we are in Istanbul. And I'm sure, if, do you live in, you're from Jeddah? I'm from Jeddah, sir. Yeah, my, my, my father worked there. He was at the King Khalid National Guard Hospital for, okay. for, some, for some years. Um, as you saw in my presentation yesterday, I was showing satellite imagery from all around the world. Uh, the Red Sea, last week, covered in chemtrails. Uh, you, you must see them uh, regularly uh, in Saudi Arabia. Well, actually, I've been seeing a lot of uh, different landscapes in Saudi Arabia. Uh, a year ago, from a year, a year and a half ago, and uh, everybody, if you if you go on Twitter, we find everybody taking pictures of the skies. Yeah. Because um, uh, what I've noticed is that the sky doesn't look anymore the sky that I know mm. four years ago. I was a little bit away for a long time from Saudi Arabia, and when I came back, I thought I was seeing the sky of London. Yeah. 
Overcast? Overcast. <laughs> In Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Overcast, lots of, of um, clouds, very uh, low. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, with with shapes that are very funny, and and of course I'm you know, it's even in England you know you could you could not see such uh, a sky a long time ago. Now when I when I lived in in London it was also a very funny uh, uh, skies and landscapes. Uh, you you just feel that the uh, the skies are going lower. Mm -hmm. I mean you know I could touch. Yeah. Almost mm -hmm. uh, the landscape in my, with my hands, mm -hmm. and that is a, a, a. I don't know if it is man-made, if it is God's made, if it is uh, special made, tailor-made. You know, it's just something which has, a, a, uh, you know, attracted my attention. Mm -hmm. And if something attracts my attention, it means there is something uh, not unusual. Mm. And I, um, you know, uh, I think it's a very interesting science to look at, uh, mm -hmm. very interesting, uh, maybe a discovery of new uh, technology uh, that not only uh, enable us, uh, enable us to change the weather, but really uh, monitors who try to change it, and that's very important. Uh, sticking together or you know passing information with people all around the world with help and and um, uh, transparency more awareness and by that itself you will create a culture of awareness within the next generation and what they are facing in the future and what kind of challenges they have to uh, address uh, from uh, the heritage of our generation. Thank you. Thank you so much.